The Aboriginal uh, people that I come from are from Terry Hai Hai. I was born in a tin hut here and all those Aboriginal people that lived there suffered through segregation. Segregation was, to me, and growing up during that era, was one step away from apartheid. The tin huts were constructed out of anything that they could get hold of. The living conditions were appalling and I don't know how they ever survived. I do not know how they ever survived. I went to a, a one-room school and then my mother, because we were buying our own home and my father got his certificate of exemption, which freed him from under the Aborigines Protection Act, she went to the headmaster at the school and she said, I want my daughter to be educated. So all my life I have been striving to be educated. And that's the saddest thing about Maury, is a lot of Aboriginal people didn't receive a, a, an education. And, and a lot of them my age today can't uh, read or write. Living in Moree and growing up in Moree, we were denied all the services that other people enjoyed and that hurt, that really hurt. Moree was the only town in Australia that had a written municipal act banning Aboriginal people. And Charlie Perkins came here in February of 1965. He got some children from the reserve and put them on the bus and he took them to the bars and um, he, he wanted to buy tickets to go in with them and they said, you can't come in because you're Aboriginal. And they said, no, we are not leaving. They protested, they, they removed them bodily off the, the premises, the bars, and they threw things at them, they threw anything that they could throw at them, empty cigarette packets, matches, anything that they could lay their hand on, they threw at the students, and the students were removed bodily from, from the premises. So um, anyway, they got in touch with Mr Lloyd, the mayor at the time, and Charlie said, we're not leaving until you promise to say or do something about the acts. So that was February. So in May, they did. So the act was changed to people of unhygienic appearance, which still pertained to Aboriginal people because they still lived in tin huts. They still had no water. And even at the reserve, the rotten old boar used to always break down and they had no water. Charlie was like a family member. And I remember being introduced to Charlie and I said to Charlie, I said, uh, how do you think things will be for our people in the future, Charlie? He said, well, girl, he said, I don't know about you, he said, but he said, I don't think I'll see any change in my lifetime, he said, and I think you'll be pretty lucky to see any changes in yours. Those were his exact words. I am on the um, committee for My Oil Creek, the My Oil Creek Massacre. I also uh, got in touch with a lady in Sydney who was head of reconciliation and had letters written to the local council, to the mayor, asking for a, a word like sorry, and it was refused. We were segregated not only from the bars, what about the school? We had no education, and, and the hospital, and, and shops that wouldn't even serve you, cut your hair, let you try on clothes, serve you in cafes. You had to sit down the front in picture theatres. It was terrible. And all we wanted, or I wanted, was for someone at council to say sorry, sorry that it happened. I think the town today is not aware of the history. A lot of people who have come and gone and still uh, live here in Moree uh, uh, were not aware, they say, of the, of the way that Aboriginal people were treated. Did they walk around with their eyes closed? Today, Maury is a good place to live. It is a lovely town, it always has been. But it was the segregation that gave us a terrible, terrible reputation in history. And it will never be forgotten. And we are still trying to get over certain boundaries that need to be crossed. Racism still rears its ugly head at times. And as far as I am concerned, I am the first one to recognise it. Because when you've lived it, when you've lived segregation, you're aware of what it is and what it means and how Aboriginal people suffer.